To the north, we see the island Xialai and the fjord Ufotfjord, which is ending close to the city Narvik, famous for the military activities during the Second World War. At Xialai, we see the mountain Helitin, the holy mountain. Behind this mountain, we have the Harstad Narvik airport, Evenes. Three to four minutes away by helicopter flight. A bit more to the east, we see more of the inlet to Narvik and Balangen. We also see Skasta, the closest mainland harbor. From here, it takes three to four minutes by speedboat to Engelsey. Skasta has a public harbor that was built in the 1980s. From Skarsta, you may go by car to Balangen for 30 minutes and to Narvik in 70 minutes. The view to the east shows the inlet to the fjord Efjord. This beautiful fjord takes you all the way to the border between Norway and Sweden. You may travel a good part of the fjord by car but to get to the eastern end, you need to travel by boat. The mountain range in the south side of the fjord consists, among others, Kombenestind, Eyatind, Butind, Stortind and Valetind. These are the border mountains between Efjord and Tysfjord, which is one of Norway's deepest fjords. Also ending up in the east, close to the Swedish border. Much closer and to the southeast, you see the island Ravelsey, with a few summer neighbors and the cemetery. A bit more to the south, you see the inlet to Tysfjord, and far away, the beautiful view of Hamarei. In the direction of southwest, you see the island Barei. Engelsey was part of this property until 1881. Further to the west, you see the beginning of the majestic and famous mountains of the Lofoten Islands, available by car from Skarsta and boat from Engelsey. We also see the harbor of the town Lödingen, which has shopping possibilities. It was once the largest pilot station in the world. The trip across the Ofotfjord takes about 15 minutes with speedboat.